hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel and in today's video i am super super duper excited to be bringing you guys a self-care skincare and hygiene protocol it's kind of like a mini protocol because i did a little bit of spending just just a, just a little bit so without further ado let's just hop right into the video to show you guys what i got jumping right into it guys the first place that i went was there's only two places i'm saying that like i went all over the world I only went to Target and Marshalls, but I'm gonna start with Marshalls because it's the least amount of stuff that I got from Marshalls. So this is the bag, and I know it looks big, but they was just doing the most with the bag. The first thing that I got is the Smashbox Prep and Set for Face and Eyes, and this is what it looks like. And honestly, I I know of Smashbox. I don't think I ever owned anything from Smashbox. But I did hear that their like photo finish um, primer is really good. So when I saw that the photo finish primer is in this pack, I was like, why not? Plus, I wanted something that was kind of like mini. Like, I'm getting really heavily obsessed with like mini travel size products. I don't know what's going on. This is what it looks like. I hope you guys can see it. And then this one is the 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. This is like a base for your eyes. And then you have the original photo finish smooth and blur primer. These are the travel size again, so yeah, I think this is like super cute. And I don't, I got this for 12 bucks at Marshalls, and it's usually like $39. So, do you see like a difference there? I feel like travel products are the best place to start when you don't know what a product is like. The thing that I have on my list from Marshalls is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oatmeal Mask. And this is what it looks like. I actually went ahead and picked this up because I am very familiar with the First Aid brand. If you guys didn't already see, I have purchased the KP Body Scrub from the same exact brand. And I freaking love the KP Body Scrub, okay? I opt for more affordable body scrubs, but the KP Body Scrub is like the top of my list. It may not be the most affordable one compared to like Dove and Tree Hut. But it, it's an amazing body scrub. So when I saw that Marshalls had the First Aid Beauty products, I had to get it. And I also wanted to incorporate more mask into my skincare routine and my self-care routines on Sundays. So I was like, why not take this up? Next thing I got is also from the First Aid Beauty brand. This is a 5-in-1 bouncy mask. This is meant to help you with nourishment, calm, firm, plump, refined, and it is safe for sensitive skin, okay? This is what she looks like. This is the first time I opened the box. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Okay, it got like a little thing on it. Oh, just pop it open. I don't know how to feel about that smell. But I can see what it means by bouncy, it's very liquidy. I don't want to like show it to you guys because it might spill over, but yeah. I'm really excited to try these two products out to see how well they fit. And if they do feel really great on my skin and I feel all of what they're saying, I would definitely purchase some more. The next item that I have on my list is the under eye pads. These are just some regular under eye mask pads that I saw and I was like huh, I'll try them just because I want to amplify and just turn up my self-care routines on Sundays I was like why not and these are great for puffy eyes and dark circles and they're great for all skin types so I was like why not last thing that I have on my list that I purchased from Marshalls is the pixie I don't know if I'm saying that correctly pixie best of vitamin C and it comes with the Brightening moisturizer, it comes with the brightening toner, and it comes with a brightening leave on mask. And this is heavily vitamin C like concentrated, I guess you could say. And this is what it looks like. Again, I just went ahead and picked up like 
mini travel size things you want to go for those things because like that will give you a chance to try the product out and if you like it you could purchase a bigger one so this particular brand i have seen this brand around the block i've seen it around the corner so i was like i want to try it and also on the back guys they give you instructions on how to use each of the products and when so i feel like that's super helpful this is what they look like up close and personal and i'm super excited to use these Okay, so that is it for our Marshalls haul. We're moving on to Target. Someone needs to lock me up because there's no reason why. There's no reason why I need to be shopping on Target. Like, you. But one thing about me, if I'm not gonna go book shopping, you best believe I'm gonna go hygiene shopping, okay? First thing that comes out of the bag is the Pan Oxy Base Cleanser. And I don't know if I mentioned in any of my previously hygiene videos that this is a product that no matter how many times I go to Target, even if I don't need this, I'm still going to pick it up. Like, this is a hidden gem. Like, the way this makes my face feels is incredible. And I love, I love the creaminess. I don't like a lot of sud on my face. If I have to, I will. But because this is so creamy and it feels so good on my skin, I just, I love it. The next thing I have on the list is the Pixi Glow Mask. And this is the Brightening Infused Sheet Mask. And I literally was just talking about this brand. And yeah, I wanted to try their mask as well. It's like a sheet form. It's not like the other one that I showed you guys. So I'm, I'm excited for this one. When I mean my self-care Sundays are about to hit, it's about to hit. Next up, you guys already know, this is also a product that I feel like every time I go to Target, I have to pick up. And this is the Honey Pot Sensitive Foam and Wash. I feel like you guys seen this on my channel way too many times. Between this, Dr. Bronner's, and the Panoxy, you guys must be tired of it, okay? The next thing that I got from Target is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. And this is in the scent brown sugar and coconut butter let's talk a little bit about the dove exfoliating body polish so while i don't feel like i have sensitive skin i love i love i love their i love their stuff like i would opt for tree hut because I like a more rough, it really gets in there kind of thing. But ever so often, because of the amazing scent that Dove has, I, I do love the formula to this. So I love everything about their exfoliating products because I don't know, it just feels so good, it smells so good. And while I do think it's effective if you have sensitive skin and you want to start exfoliating, ah, for Dove. This is just perfect for sensitive skin, okay? And this brown sugar. This round sugar coconut smells amazing. The next product that I have on my list is actually something that I have been seeing go like incredibly viral. Like I have been seeing this product so much so that I was like, all right, I give in, I give in, you got me, here I am. This is the EOS Revolution of Smooth Shea Butter 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion. And this is in the scent Vanilla Cashmere. And this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this product before. My goodness. Um, I'm super nervous to try this one. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to try it. Next up, I have the Shea Butter Dove Advanced Deodorant. And this is what it looks like. I believe this is like the last deodorant I plan to purchase before trying the Native brand. But as you guys can see, I'm following kind of like a coconut, shea butter, vanilla scent going on. Like, that's what's going on, guys. Oh, wow. I really like how this one smells. Next thing that I have on my list should not come as a surprise to you guys because you've seen it multiple times on my channel. I have mentioned this before. Just don't say nothing, okay? <laughs> this is the Method of Body Pure Peach Body Wash. And this is what she looks like. You guys already know, like, Method Body, Dr. Burner's. Listen, they got me in a choke. Okay. I already know how I feel about Method Body and their body wash. 
and I found out recently they got deodorants. Let me find out. Next thing that I have on my list, I'm super excited about. Like I am smelling from ear to ear because of this product, and that is the Coconut and Vanilla Native Body Wash, and this is what it looks like. Now guys, listen. Hold on. Oh my God. This smells like I'm about to smell like a million dollars. Oh my goodness. Nothing should smell like this. Why do you smell like that? Oh, this smells amazing. Oh my goodness. I was like, yeah, I want to try their um, body wash and here I am. I'm super, super excited for this. If you guys do see another native body wash on the list, most likely it's because I, I might like this one. I feel like I am. Like judging by the smell alone, you gonna get me. The next product that I have on my list is a product that I am... <sighs> we're going to Vegas and we're going to get married, okay? Nothing should smell like this product. I know I said that about the last one, but I didn't mean it. This is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. The Coconut Hydrated Body Oil. Y'all, if you don't get nothing on this list, I promise you... You need to get this okay this is what she looks like and you guys have to look at it carefully because there's one that looks exactly like it but it's a different scent this is like crack okay this smells amazing listen I will not stare y'all wrong okay this smells like I I can't even I can't even describe what it smells like I can't even describe what it makes your skin smell like I, I bought a small bottle to try it and immediately I was hooked and when I found out that they have a bigger one that you can spray I bought two okay I bought two of these bad boys I'm not if you don't get nothing else on this list if nothing else on this list got you this I'm, I promise you you're not gonna go back this has a this has a chance to compete with the bio oil, and ain't nobody could compete with her. But this, she run her up like I'm telling y'all. The way this makes me smell, the way it makes my skin feels, it's um guys. It's gonna be the next panoxy because this is like crack in a pack. Like guys, let, let, let's move on because. The last and final item that I have on this list, I'm a little bit embarrassed. I'm, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed because if you saw my um, fragrance haul, I mentioned that I did not like the scent of vanilla. And I know people are going to watch that and be like, but girl, but somebody got me. I don't remember what video it was. I believe it was my emergency bag video where I bought this tiny pen fragrance and actually let me go get it and show y'all so I bought this little pen fragrance from a Target and I really like the smell of it it was the mix bar vanilla and bourbon brush on fragrance pen and this is what the pack looks like and this is the pen oh, let me show you guys right and what you do is I believe you shake it you press down and you apply it and I, I got it because I wanted to try it and I really liked it right then I found out that they have the full bottle I don't like them but this guys I don't know if it's because it's vanilla bourbon it has a little to it but straight vanilla just does not sit well with me when I realized that I had a thing for the pen I was like I really would like the full bottle of this I wasn't aware that they had the full bottle but when I saw this on Target I was like yeah sign me up okay I got it and I am in love and this is what she looks like just a small bottle kind of like a traveling size kind of thing going on and I 
I love her. And in the back, I, and on the back, it says a warm vanilla cloud spiked with a hint of bourbon. And I think that's why I gravitate towards it so much because that hint of bourbon, I really like what that smells like mixed in with the vanilla. I think I like vanilla scents when it's layered with something. I don't like straight vanilla. It just, I don't know what it is. But if not wearing vanilla keeps the men away, then I'll take it, okay? <laughs> because I don't like vanilla. It sounds bad, but I, it has to be paired with something. But this smells so good. So guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoy the products that I got. I am incredibly satisfied with everything that I got. I can't wait to try everything out. And let me know down in the comments what is a self-care or a hygienic product that you literally cannot live without. What is a skincare product you can't live without? Let me know down in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next one.